All right, I wanted to record a training video because people have been asking how do I um, record my Zoom meetings, uh, my web conferences, uh, my coaching calls, um, even my pitch meetings, or sometimes someone is um, asking me to hop on a Zoom to show me their product features or benefits, and I want to really um, remember everything, um, you know, take proper notes and things like that. So most of the time, I record everything that's happening on my screen with um with OBS, right? And OBS um so we'll just take a look at that. So OBS what it is is um open broadcaster software. Um it's uh, obsproject.com, open source, it's free to download Windows and Mac. Uh it's great. Right? Um now that's what I use for recording and that's what this window um that you see here with all, with everything. And then the next software uh, that I use a ton and I've been using it more and more is Zoom Meeting. Now, um, it, it's super, it's just really good for streaming, very simple to use. Um, a lot of people start off with the free version. The only limitation is that, um, well, only one to one meeting, so you can't have multiple people, and there's a 40 minute limit for group meetings. I've gone ahead and upgraded to the 1499 version. I have a, um, a link in the description for the video to sign up for a Zoom Meeting and a paid version it is an affiliate link so I would appreciate it if you get value from this video that if you are going to upgrade to Zoom meeting uh, that, that you would check that out um, in the OBS you've downloaded it now you want to get into your setup right um, now let's take a look here once you've installed it the first so you see scenes and you see sources but the first thing you want to do is you want to go into settings here so now you can see general settings, stream settings, and this is when you want to set up your stream sources. Very simple to set up, and you just put your code in. Um, <coughs> <coughs> so on the streaming, make sure you have that set up. On your recording, make sure you have your directory set up to a um, directory or hard drive that has a lot of space. In recording format, I always prefer uh, MPEG-4 and Encoder X264. Audio, um, replay buffer. On the audio um, settings on here on the side, make sure that you have your microphone set up correctly. I do have a microphone on my webcam, but my Snowball um, is just way better for that. And, um, and then on video, make sure that's set up correctly and advanced. Um, you're there. Now, you see... The microphone is working. I can see the meter moving. So now, um, got your microphone working. That's great. You want to make sure that your desktop audio is working because if you're recording a meeting, you want to know that the audio from the person um, that's teleconferencing in or on the other side of your Zoom meeting is working. And the best way you want to do that is just um, what I'll do is I'll mute the microphone. So we're pretty sure that we, um, it's working, you'll see the meter moving. If it's not working, you definitely want to go into your settings and you want to look at um, the device and figure out which one it is. Um, I choose default, default at, at all times, but if you have to switch it, then you switch to the headphone one. But just make sure that um, when the other person is talking, you see this moving. Great, your audio is set up. Now let's move on to the next thing which will be setting up your scenes and your sources. Your scenes, imagine this as different camera views, right? And you'll be able to set them up and design them for what you need. So the, the first thing would be um, just your... Th this one is the whole screen, and this is a good default. I'm going to call it call recording 2 and your only source is the monitor 2 so we'll delete that and we'll add it in and you go here and you see all the different types of sources that you can use choose display capture and I'm going to call it monitor 2 and you see here I have two choices because I have two monitors 
and when you click that then you can record everything that's happening on the screen so when you are in zoom meeting and you click share screen and you share everything that's on this screen it's going to show up also in the recording so this is definitely um, you know why I prefer this to just using zoom meeting um, recording options alright so let's talk about setting up the main blog this might be your initial view when you're talking um, everybody's just doing introductions and see I'm signed in to the zoom meeting with a second um, uh, a second um, a second account just so that you can see it right oh let me have to resize that sorry we'll just delete it so if it doesn't come out right you can always just do it again um, window capture I'm gonna call it zoom meeting okay and you see here I'm able to resize it as I need um, for the way that I want it set up. So there's some other things um, in terms of setting up your scenes and sources. This is really nice. Um, let's move this to the bottom where you can add different things to your um, to your window pane and what's getting recorded here and and the way that you do this is you just set up different images and you show them here on the screen so what I'll do is I'll delete I'll delete um, the images and I'll add them back in so you can see them so you hit the plus sign image image 2 make source visible browse and just go through click it and as you can see so if you're doing like a dual screen or a dual interview and you want to record the whole thing or you want to do a podcast this is a really great way to have that set up let's do another image and browse and you want to take their, this logo I'm going to move it over here once you have everything set up and you're happy with the location you can lock everything in place and as you can see this little eyeball feature is what allows you to show something or not show something so you can have everything set up not visible and then when you're ready to show it you can add it on the screen alright let's put it all together now now you got your zoom meeting and let's say uh, we go back to the big view we're in a uh, big view we're talking and we've gotten really past the introductions and now we're saying hey um, I want to let everybody know I'm going to record everything that's happening on the screen so you won't have to worry about taking notes or anything like that and I'll send everybody a replay afterwards um, at that point if anybody has an objection any objections to recording you wanna be able to um, you know if they don't want you to do it then you're not going to be able to record and really uh, you go right here and you click start recording and it will start um, recording so now everything's uh, recording let's go to the dual screen mode and the dual screen mode is nice because you have your text and you can keep your notes of everything that's going on um, I would recommend a non clicky keyboard um, what the keyboard that I use for this I'm not on a Macintosh um, or um, an Apple but I do use the Apple um, a USB keyboard it is really really nice easy to type but the main thing is there's just not a lot of clicking noise so um, that's a that's a really important tip and then you keep notes of everything that's going on um, if you go into zoom meeting and you do uh, share full screen mode then um, what's going to happen is you'll see the participants show up here in the panel and you'll be able to still do what you have to do and then when you're done you click stop share um, so or if you minimize zoom meeting again that's what happens there as well so a lot of good functionality um, hopefully you know you can really make more use of your online meetings and also your follow-ups for proposals or them sending a recording of what happened to a decision maker um, if this video was useful to you click like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell as I'm uploading videos to help people using zoom OBS Facebook live and um, and everything like that so alright thank you